terminals are uh, collecting a tremendous amount of data. But the use of this data, the exchange of the data within the supply chain, and the actual getting intelligence out of, date, of the data is where it's still lacking. It's very limited, um, so, um, and there's a lot of improvement to, uh, to gain if, if that gets better. One of the breakthroughs in our industry could be learning systems. As, as we already discussed, uh, there's a lot of repetition in uh, the weekly call patterns. Yeah, so if you look at every week is more or less the same. I mean, we have our seasons and we have our Christmas trees and those kind of things, but generally there is a high level of repetition, which lends itself perfectly for learning the patterns and doing something with this information. So systems that can actually deploy such technology, artificial intelligence, recognizing the patterns and changing the behavior based on those patterns um, will make a, uh, a difference. Another area of big improvement is the human-machine interface. And so when we start automating, humans still drive those systems. However, from a relatively simple um, event coming at them, uh, a machine broken down, we now get an event triggered by a system where the solution is often not so obvious anymore. So they deal with more complex systems that are more sensitive to errors. Yeah? If one man machine breaks down, okay, he's out of operation, but the rest of the machine continues. When within an automated system something breaks down, it may end up that the total system is stopping. So he needs to act more quickly. Even Preferably, he would already see it coming and proactively solve it. However, if you look at how these systems communicate with the people who drive them, typically not so good. Yeah, so very complicated, a lot of steps to have to take to fix problems. Um, hence, they make errors. And as such, the impact of a breakdown is often uh, much more severe than necessary. So there's a lot to learn there in the um, human-machine interface. From e-learning, um, the most important people to address are the ones really driving operational decisions. Planners, dispatchers, shift managers, um, people that make decisions about where to deploy equipment, how to deploy equipment, how to stack containers. That's what drives costs in terminals. So if you make those people more efficient, and we have seen evidence that by good training you could enhance their productivity levels, together of course with the operation, by up to 50%. And so we're not talking a few percent, we're talking up to 50%. Um, we create consistency by training, yeah? so not a dependency on this one individual, no, we raise the whole level to the level of the best um, people in town. That's where we can make a difference with, uh, with solid e-learning.